Good morning. You listen to FloridaLA.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Todd Sanders, the CEO of Broadloom. Todd, how you doing? I'm doing great, Kemp. How are you doing today? I'm good. It's good to catch up. Most people know Broadloom is a, a digital solution provider, all-in-one platform that continues to grow and expand. You got started when you bought Full Force, then you got creating your space. You bought Rollmaster Retail Lead Management. You started your own trade show called FloorCon. Not only do you now provide websites and digital services for your retail clients, but you also now have a group of retailers that have come together, and you call it, I think, Flooring Stores United. What is your mm -hmm. count on that now? There's about 15 manufacturers that we've partnered with and about 100 retailers that we've partnered with. All right. So other than creating websites, you do digital ad buys, you do you know SEO optimization, you have a visualization tool, you offer ERP and CRM, and have I got most of it? Uh, yeah, you got most of it. I mean, we have some you know newer product launches like payment processing and you know integrated accounting. But I think, listen, our goal is to offer retailers a all-in-one solution where everything works together. They get one bill from one company. And listen, our job is to make them easier. I think it's already hard enough to sell flooring. Our job is to make the technology the easy part. You know, every day we learn something new about what customers want. And that's kind of why you see us buying more and more companies and launching more and more products. You're well-funded. You have $60 million worth of equity that you've been given from PSG Equities. You've got plenty of money to continue to add some bolt-ons to what you offer in your all-in-one platform. It's interesting, too, that you've extended beyond digital into merchandising and private label and also partnerships with suppliers like Dixie and Hallmark, where you are able to offer retailers a package that, that you put together, right? Yeah. If you look at our kind of ethos of, of our company, it's to help brands tell their story to consumers and to help champion the independent local flooring retailer. That takes kind of three parties. That takes the manufacturer slash supplier that takes the retailer slash installer, and that takes the consumer. We want to provide kind of tools and services for all three different ones of those groups. And we're excited to be partnering with more and more manufacturers. Those we recently announced a partnership with Dixie and a partnership with JJ Haynes and a few others about to be announced where on retailer websites, retailers can now offer sample ordering. So just like the box stores, you can consumers can go on your website, you can order a sample, and Dixie or Haynes or one of the other manufacturers we're soon to announce will actually ship that sample right to that customer's home. And it's been an amazing sales tool, not just for the customer coming on the website, but now imagine customers in the showroom and it's really interested in, you know, this carpet sample or that hard surface sample. But rather than giving them your best, you know, trending color, you can say, ma'am, I'll just order you a sample right on our website. It'll be delivered to you in 48 hours. You can get their information, put that into your CRM, Retail Lead Management, and then they get that sample delivered right to them the next day or the day after. And you don't have to have your, you know, best color sample out of your showroom. So innovations like that are what, you know, really excite us. And we're excited to continue to partner with more and more manufacturers to do innovative things like that. Well, let's talk about the show. I know you had Elvis Presley there at your front door. Yeah, uh, Elvis came. Listen, we wanted to bring a little bit of energy, I think. Our theme at Surfaces and our kind of our theme for 2023 is do the work. The opportunity is right in front of every single retailer, every single manufacturer, supplier, all of it. We just have to, you know, in a tough time like 2023 might be, we just got to roll up our sleeves and do the work. So we launched yeah. the Do the Work campaign at Surfaces. It went extremely well. I mean, we had the best show we've ever had you could feel the retailers rallying around this year, I'm going to do the work and it's about time that I start to do it. So how, how did you think it went? I mean, you, you saw the energy there. There was a lot of people at Surfaces, more than I ever expected. Yeah, I think Surfaces was back to normal. I was back to the 2018, 2019 level. So it was, a, it was a good show and, you know, people want to meet face to face. It was a good show. Yeah, we had a record number of website and ERP kind of business management software sales. We did more in that one day than we probably would normally do in a few months. So it was a really good show for us. And we met a whole bunch of new customers. And also, listen, 
there's a whole bunch of current customers that we didn't sell them anything, but we got a chance to shake their hand and hear about their business and, you know, do all that. And that's a win too. It's not all about sales at those shows, right? It's about building relationship. It's about the business development opportunities with other people they don't get to normally see, but it's also about shaking hands and building relationships with the current customers you have. You know, today we have, you know, right around 35, 3,600 customers and you don't get to see them that often. Well, I was walking by your space and I saw Tom Levi and his, his son Tyler coming in your space. So I know they're a customer of yours. I guess they were coming in to reinforce the relationship. Listen, overall, it was a great event. And we're really looking forward to the next surfaces. And, you know, before that, we're looking forward to FloorCon, which we're going to have this year again. Where will FloorCon be this coming year? That's for me to know and you to find out. I'm just kidding. I think the general consensus is people want warm. And I kind of want warm because... You know, here in New York, yeah. it gets pretty cold, uh, especially right now. And all I can think about is getting somewhere warm. So it will be somewhere warm, but still CBD. What else are your plans for 23? A lot of what we're working on is integration. I mean, one of the big features or products that we launched early this year was payment processing. So now retailers can take payments from their customers right on their website. Customers can pay invoices. Uh, right on their website. And what's great about that is kind of two things. One, it's flat rate payment processing. That way you're not surprised as a retailer that you were charged by your, you know, processor three and a half percent or four and a half percent or four and a quarter percent because they use all these different card types. And the other, you know, I guess two other good parts about it is if you have our business management software and someone pays an invoice online on your website, that goes right into your accounting, right into our ERP business management software. So it really eliminates a lot of that duplicate work. So anytime we can eliminate work, that's exciting for us as a business and for retailers. I heard complaints from retailers saying, oh, you know, we collect 50% of the money up front and then we have to go chase that other 50% of the money, you know, because when the install is done, the customer has a complaint. I moved the sofa too far and they're not going to pay it. Well, with this payment processing solution, the retailer can safely and securely charge 50% upfront and 50% when they're done, all with encrypted information. Listen, at the end of the day, our goal is to make it easy for the retailer, easy for the customer, and put more money back in into our retailer's pocket. Well, most people uh, we've talked to saying that the retail replacement side is a little soft, and that's actually a good time for these retailers to be looking in the their operation and the updating and enhancing what they're doing from a digital standpoint, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's a great time to rethink that. It's a really good time to rethink your digital strategy, but also you got to have some CRM or lead management, right? Every lead counts. All right, Todd, it's good to talk to you again. I've been talking to Todd Sanders, the CEO of Broadloom, and you've been listening to Kemp Park and FloorDaily.net.